Arnaud from wizbiz.com here and today's project is about this, a vintage rotary dial phone that we're gonna use as an MP3 player. I've called it a Nostalphone because mine is filled with nostalgic songs and retro audio fragments, but of course it can play any MP3 or WAF audio fragment. I was put uh, on track, by the way, with this project by an uncle of mine. And he likes to donate a few of these phones to homes for elderly people or people suffering from Alzheimer. Being put back in time with a rotary dial phone and recognize old music can of course be a great experience for these people. So what do we need? Well, we'd like to play MP3 or WAF audio fragments, so we need an WAF or MP3 player module and these go very cheap and under a lot of names and your WAFs go on a micro SD card that can be slotted into position on this little card and you can drive it through software serial from an Arduino Nano if you see of course you can use an, uh, a normal Arduino or some other microcontroller but I use this one because it's quite small and powerful enough to drive the MP3 module over software serial. So apart from your vintage rotary dial phone, that's all you need. A quick look at the schematic before we're gonna build our Nostal phone. Beating heart of course being the Arduino Nano, uh, taking control over software serial, RX and TX to the MP3 player over here. Uh, I use a 8 ohm impedance or resistance uh, speaker in the earpiece of the, the telephone and that's been connected to the MP3 player of course. 5 volts has been provided by the Nano and we can feed it with 5 to 9 volts. You probably think these uh, resistors for the LED, the two color LED that I drilled in uh, the front of the phone are a bit high but I switched them to 1K because uh, there was way too much light and it shined all through the, the casing of the, of the phone so I tempered it a little bit by using a slightly higher value than you might expect. Uh, this has been pulled to, uh, to ground, this is my random button. So this is a normal positive logic on D4 and the hook can the hook switch, the normal switch that's already been in the in the, in the phone is been used here goes high once the receiver has been picked up. Uh, I use pull up within my Arduino sketch for these two inputs which read the dial dial pulses and the rotary uh, signal. The rotary signal going low common which is being connected to ground once you use the, the dial and it goes high back again when it's idle and when it walks back and you you leave you you let it go it gives pulses on the red wire and we can read it into d6 so far for the schematics let's go real world and pick up the receiver so we can hear a dial tone, which is in fact the first WAF on the micro SD card. And we got a green blinking LED because we've picked up the receiver. Let's dial, let's try if this works. <laughs> By the way. Uh, and there you have it. Oh, this brings back memories. Next step may be soldering everything on a uh, experimental board and stripping your uh, your telephone, bringing in the new goodies and transform it into an mp3 player like I did. Uh, of course anything goes here and it just depends on what you uh, what you what you find in, in the inner workings of your telephone. Uh, this of course is a Dutch T65 model but in a moment I'll show you how to do it for a complete other vintage rotary dial phone. Uh, but first, let's demonstrate the finished project. A blinking LED after picking up the receiver. And the first number we dial uh, gives the bank number. And the second or the last number we dial just addresses one of the uh, songs within that bank. So we can up to uh, 
we can address up to 100 uh, fragments in this way or a random one by just pushing this button uh, over there This was just my little idea of organizing things into 10 banks of 10 audio fragments which can be addressed by the dial, the rotary dial in this way And that's that, but hey, what is this? Oh, it's just another vintage phone, no it's a complete modern phone, but it looks like an old phone. This is a GPO 746 Remake, a quite a modern telephone, which a dial, uh, in which the dial has 12 LDRs, light dependent resistors, and a hole is passed over those LDRs, and they can receive light from LEDs in the top of the dial. So this is modern technology, but completely different, no pulses, and we have to, uh, well, rethink our method of reading this thing. These are the LEDs, and these LEDs are switched on once your finger touches this switch at the end of the dial. And after a little bit of reverse engineering, I came to the following electronic inner workings of this rotary dial. Of course, no surprise, it's a matrix with 12 EDRs on the junction of four lines and three columns. And as you can see, this is the flat cable, the pinout of the lines. Uh, this is the column one, two, and three, and four has not been used. And pins five, six, seven, and eight are the four lines. 9 goes to ground, 10 provides a uh, pull down to, to ground for the dial switch that uh, is normally high and that's the switch at the end of the dial cycle that you touch uh, and is a uh, signal for the LEDs to, uh, to, for the LEDs to go on and shine the lights on one of those individual LDRs through a little hole as we saw a moment ago. Okay, we won't go too far into this, but you can imagine that if you uh, make, for instance, A4 high and D4, D2 low, there is a voltage divider between this 1K and this LDR. So with this LDR switching its resistance, if there is LED light being cast upon, you can read back the value in A7 and the same for column 2 in A6 and the third column in A5. Take a look at the sketch, how I did it. I was amazed that it uh, proved to be quite easy in the end. Okay, when we take a look at the breadboard again, here we have our Arduino Nano taking control of the MP3 player over TX and RX and being fed 5 volts through the Arduino Nano that's been fed 5 to 9 volts. Just as we saw a moment ago with the other telephone. Uh, this little switch here that you uh, touch when you at the far end of your dial uh, cycle is red through pin 10 of the uh, flat cable here goes in right right away this is a little resistor that's uh, in VCC for your LEDs so it provides the light for the LDRs and this 10k is a pull down for the switch here we have our uh, three pull down resistors that can be pulled down in succession by D4, D3 and D2 during the scan on the flat cable, of course, the four lines and the three columns uh, that make the matrix with all the LDRs. And there you have it. You can use the, uh, the normal uh, speaker that's already in the earpiece there to uh, connect to your MP3 player. So I've added a uh, DC connector to the casing of the phone and some connectors to the hook switch and the LED for which I've drilled a small hole in the front over here uh, as you can see 
And all that's left is some final assembly, of course. Let's put the dial back. Uh, I've made some space in the original phone by stripping the original PCB from it. Let's reconnect and replace it with our own electronics. So we have another Nostal phone or just an WAF or MP3 player as you like it. Well, that's it. If these videos were of any use or entertainment value to you, don't hesitate to give me a thumbs up. And I hope to see you soon with my next project. <laughs>